Hey guys, Carvex here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a really cool church uh, that you can see in my background, uh, because I wanted a build tutorial to build it in uh, my own world, and then I forgot that I haven't made it out for you guys yet. Sorry about that. Also, sorry about the long upload time. It's very hard to upload when your power's out. Let's get right into this build tutorial. So, unfortunately, this build will require quite a bit of items, but uh, to start off, uh, we're going to take some andesite and some spruce planks and that is what we're going to start with we're also going to get some spruce logs and you're actually going to want to also have some stone bricks on hand for the foundation and spruce stairs oh look at two of those nice all right so anyway we have our area over here it is a one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve thirteen block wide and one two 15, 16 uh, block long area right here and then 1, 2, 3, 4 right here and then after you do that you're going to want to come up 1, 2, 3 come over here 1, 2, 3 because we already had the bottom one and then fill in this whole area behind it with wood planks and then this is going to start to take the formation of our entryway so then up next we're going to want to start the foundation part of our foundation you know the outline and then place andesite blo uh, polished andesite right here and then polished andesite right here follow along with me gang and then do a pattern between spruce planks, polished andesite, then go out. Also going to want to have stone bricks and then place them right here. And then polished andesite, spruce planks, polished andesite. Then extend some more. Look, we're matching up with this right here. Place some stone bricks, polished andesite, spruce plank, spruce plank, polished andesite, stone brick. Now we're going to want to go on the other side and repeat. We're going to want to do is we're going to want to come to the back here, place a spruce plank on both sides, polished andesite, polished andesite, and then fill the rest in with stone bricks. Now we have the foundation. Uh, time for part two. Alright guys, now it's time for part two, which is not the foundation. Alright, so you're going to want uh, stone br bricks, stone brick stairs, stone, dark oak, stairs, uh, spruce planks, and spruce stairs. And you're going to want to come over to the entrance here. So you have the beginnings of the entrance, and you're going to want to get your stone bricks and your stone. You're going to want to replace the polished andesite that you have here and then start coming up alternating between them every couple of blocks until you are level with the logs and then after you're done with that you're going to want to top them both with a stone brick so you're going to want to take your stairs and place them underneath both of them place a stone brick on top of them uh, place the stairs underneath brick on top and then finally place a brick right here Right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to make what I call the skeleton of this thing. Stone brick area and then go up one, two, three. Get your stone bricks. Go like here, 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 here. And then you're going to want to go to the other side and do that. And then you're going to want to do that with all of the other stone brick things that you have here. Two, three up only. I may have misspoken earlier. And just glitched out of existence there for a moment. Sure, that's perfectly fine. Same thing on this side. Ignore these stairs. They don't exist. What stairs? And 
then now we have the skeleton of the beast. Alright, nice. So then now for the wall part of it, we're going to take spruce stairs. And then place them like that, down in the blank area. And then place them like this, on the non-blank area. And then do the same on the other side. Alright, very nice. So then next, you're going to want to get your stone brick stairs and then go over to this start area here and then on top of your spruce stairs, place the stone brick stairs and then do this on the other side as well. Then you're going to want to take your dark oak stairs and then fill this area in with the dark oak stairs. and come on to the other side and do the same as we've been doing for almost this entire time. And then that's it for part two, uh, not the foundation. It's starting to come together, really, isn't it? Placing stairs is hard. Time for part 83, the tower. All right, so we are going to want to get uh, these materials, which is stone bricks, stone cobblestone, uh, spruce planks, and dark oak fences. And go to this area right here, the one where it's filled in with stone bricks and then right next to the block of andesite polished andesite we're going to place the things you know what I'm talking about I'm holding them and then go up an additional two from where we already placed it and then after that we're going to go over to the stone brick on the far corner and then go up one two three not including the bottom go to the side go up repeating this process after you have done so you're going to want to fill in this area between the fences and the wall and the wall with spruce planks So it should look like this so far. Then you're going to want to take your stone, stone bricks, and cobblestone, and then fill in the area between the two uh, dark oak fences with a combination of these at random. All the way until it's flush with that area. You're also going to want to fill in this place right here. Mine that block there. Mine that block there. Place dark oak fence place dark oak fence and then another two on top of it so that's a total of three high and then we are going to do the same thing the same pattern which is a randomly seeming combination of cobblestone stone bricks and uh, that's it. Up to the height one above. I accidentally did too high right here. Mind that there. And then we're going to want to come over here and then go
go out one, two, three. Yep. Mm, four. And then instead of placing it at random, we're just going to fill it in once we're done. And then after you've done this, you're going to want to take this block right here, replace that with the fence, and then this block right here, and replace that with the fence. And then we're going to want to come over to the front here, and then fill it in, fill the top in actually, with stone bricks, and then begin the replacement process, where we replace an at random section with a stone and cobblestone. Do that on this side also. And voila, we have the start of the tower. And now it's time to finish the rest of the tower. So for this next part, we're going to need stone brick stairs, spruce logs, sp spruce planks, spruce stairs, dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, spruce trap doors, chains, and four lanterns. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to go to the middle block of the, t of the top of the tower, and then we're going to go one to the left of that, and then uh, also, uh, and then one to the right of that same block, and then we're going to repeat this pattern on all the other sides. And now it should look like this from the top, and then you get your stone brick stairs and then place them up. So now they look like little turrets. I think that's the proper phrase for them. And from the outside, they should look kind of like a grasping hand that grabs all it can. And then you go to the corners and you place two spruce logs that go up to, yeah, like this. Then after doing that, you're going to want to get your uh, dark oak stairs and then place it on both of the sides that are not the on the inside. And then, yep. Then after you do that, you want to get the dark oak slabs and then place it on the side so that it looks like it's just an extension and then place one on top of that also and do this on the other sides also. No, not there. But there. After you do this, you're going to want to get a dark oak stair and then place it like that. And again, repeat this on all the other sides. And now that we've repeated that on all of the sides, we're going to want to get our dark oak slabs and then come behind the stairs. Alright, and then once you've done that, you're going to want to get your spruce stairs. And you're going to want to come over to here and then place them on top of the logs facing towards uh, the slabs right over here. Same thing on this side. Then after you do that, you're going to want to place an upside down stairs underneath them. Upside right stairs. Upside down stairs. Upside right stairs. And same thing on the other side. After you have placed your stairs that go up, you're going to want to get your spruce stairs and place them facing inwards. And then get your spruce planks, place them right here, place a stair, do this on the other sides. And after you're done with that, you're going to want to place this here, and this here. Then you're going to want to take your spruce planks, and place them like this. And after you've done so, place your stairs on top. Then you're going to want to get your uh, dark oak slabs, place them here and repeat that on the other side.
then after that facing this way. And then after you have done that, you are going to want to get to your spruce logs, place one right there, and then one facing upwards. And then now we have the pointy top tower. And now all that is left to do is the finishing touches. So for this, you'll need the spruce trap doors, uh, chains, lantern, and also uh, polished blackstone brick wall. That's ah, a tongue twister. So uh, for the top, you go one, two, three, four up and then directly beneath the top one you go out one and then on the upside of that so you form a little cross then on the sides you get your spruce trap doors so you want the spruce trap door to be on top of the block where a stair in the corner would be and then you want to mine this and you want to do this on all the sides it's And then after you place those, you're going to want to go shift one, two down with your chains, and then at the bottom place a lantern, and do this on all the sides. You have to shift, otherwise it'll just open uh, or close the trap door. So that is not very good. All right, so. Uh, once you've done with this, you've finished the decoration of the top of the tower. So, for this first part of the interior, you're going to want stone bricks, spruce stairs, spruce signs, spruce slabs, lecterns, uh, spruce doors, spruce trap doors, and then two carpet, two, those two types of carpets. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill in the entire floor with stone bricks. So, after you have filled in all of the floor with cobblestone, you're going to want to create the room. So, since um, it's kind of difficult to get where the rooms are, I've laid them out in yellow carpet where you're going to want to start placing the area that you rise up. So, for the, f for the room on the left, you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth block, you're going to want to begin the wall uh, out from the left side, and then place the foundation of the wall and then for the other one you're going to want to go two blocks out and then on the third block out you're going to want to begin the wall and then you're going to want to raise this up to the ceiling actually not the ceiling you're going to want to stop once you get to the layer of dark oak stairs that you have on the roof and then fill in the roof right there and then do that on the inside alright and now you should have your rooms nicely separated you'll also want to fill for this part you're going to want to get spruce stairs and then fill it like this did I do it? okay so actually you're going to want to go right here then place the door here then place the stone bricks there. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill these blocks in, then you're going to want to make oh, uh, which, no, I'm not sure they're called pews, I think they're like just called seats. You place uh, rows of benches and have a one block gap in the center and then at the end here you're going to want to place a spruce slab a spruce stair, then a upside down spruce stair, and then your lectern right here, and then to make it look like the lectern has walls around it, you're going to place a bunch of signs around it.
then once you're done with this, you're going to want to get your carpet. You can, uh, I recommend alternating between yellow and black. Place a yellow carpet, then a black carpet, so that it's clear that you're leading up to this right here. So then this it is just for views, but also uh, this area works really good with villagers, because you can have a librarian right here. And then you have successfully decorated the main interior of this area, but wouldn't you say it needs a little bit of light? And for lighting, you're going to want to go with da up to the top and then place chains down and then a lantern so that it lights up this whole area so there's no mob spawns. You're also going to want to put another one right here because I noticed that it was dark. And you're going to want to do this in each of the rooms place this on any point in the ceiling as long as it lights up the whole room. Ah, that's a problem. There. And then now it looks pretty lit up, except we need to do this one final room. And now we have the interior lit up. Alright, and for the final step, and for the final step, you are going to need bed, more stone bricks, an enchanting table, chest, some brewing stands, and also torches. So you have this little area. So you're going to come over to this area uh, where the ladder is. And then you're going to climb up, and then once you reach, um, oh, you're going to want to ladder up this whole area so you can reach the top. And once you reach this little area right here, you're going to want to fill in these wall areas, wall slits, with stone bricks. Place this. Place a torch here. And then place a bed here. This works as a area where you can sleep. You could also put a villager profession block here for a villager to work at and they will not die to any mobs because nothing because they can't go up ladders no mobs can then you're gonna wanna make your enchanting area this makes a perfect little enchanting area you place stone bricks on a wall here and then you place your four brewing stands so you can brew plenty of items you get chests and then you stack them up on top of each other and you have quite a bit of storage in this area. You could also place shulkers up there uh, if you want extra space, but we can't do anything with that because that's full blocks. And then for these rooms over here, I'm gonna come over here. You can place villager profession blocks up on the roof. Uh, place two beds here. That is two villagers sleeping there. And now for the top area, you're going to want to go to the center of this area, place an enchanting table right there. Oh, and you're going to need one more thing. You're going to want to get bookshelves and cover the area in two high stacks. This should get your enchanting table maxed out when it comes to enchanting. And then you have this area, you can walk down the roof and then gaze over your n new newly built church, enchant all your stuff. You can also put quite a bit of storage here. Storage here, storage here, storage here, storage here. You should be able to open this because this is stairs. You can also put storage here, storage here, and you can make one double chest. You can put lots of storage up in this enchanting area if you really want to. So, once you have done that, you have successfully built the entirety of the chapel. And you can use this, you can place this in your village, or you can use this as a survival house. But anyway, it's been a long recording session. But this has been Cryvax, and uh, adios dudes.